Hey everyone, it's Flackfire. You're probably excited about Battlefield 1's new behemoth, the Char 2C. You might not know, however, that the super heavy tank shown in Battlefield 1 was an actual vehicle, and it had a name. Picardy. Picardy's story begins in 1917, in the midst of World War I. Impressed by the performance of light tanks like the Renault FT, French military command envisioned a class of powerful breakthrough tanks designed to smash enemy defenses with impunity. By the end of 1917, the prototype FCM-1A was ready and performed favorably in testing. Despite large initial orders ranging from 100 to 300 tanks, political infighting meant not a single tank was built before the end of World War I. With the primary reason for purchasing the behemoths fading away, the French government settled on ordering 10 of the tanks. The production Char 2Cs were completed in 1921, entering French service in 1923. The Char 2C was massive. It was 4 meters high, 3 meters wide, and over 10 meters long. The machine weighed some 70 tons and carried an impressive arsenal, including a 75 mm main gun and four 8 mm machine guns, with one of them located in a unique rear turret. It was also heavily armored for the time, boasting 45 mm of front armor, 22 mm of armor on the sides, and the turret was protected by 35 mm of armor. Interestingly, the Char 2C was powered by two German 250-horsepower Maybach engines, originally intended to power another Battlefield 1 behemoth, the Airship. The Zeppelin engines were surrendered as part of war reparations and gave the Char 2C a top speed of 15 km per hour. Transportation of the tanks was a feat in itself, requiring special rail cars. A company of three tanks required 30 rail cars to carry the crew, supplies, and supporting vehicles. Although a true behemoth by its conception, in 1939, the Char 2C was outclassed by newer technology. With war with Germany looming on the horizon, the aging behemoths were placed into their own unit. In an effort to raise morale, the 10 tanks were named after the old French provinces. Number 92, shown in Battlefield 1's announcement of the They Shall Not Pass DLC, was named Picardy. Although outdated, Picardy and the other behemoths were used to instill confidence in the French army, leading up to the German invasion. They were featured in propaganda films showcasing their massive size by crushing old fortifications. Newspapers even claimed the Char 2C took part in the French 1939 Saar offensive, but these reports were fictitious. Nevertheless, to the French public, they seemed invincible. When Germany invaded in 1940, the battalion of Char 2C tanks was immediately put on notice. Stationed near Verdun in June, the tanks were ordered south. Immediately, the problems of maneuvering such massive tanks under pressure became apparent. The vehicles had to be loaded onto their specialized rail cars, and Picardy herself suffered an electrical failure. As a result, Picardy was unable to embark and was scuttled on June 14th. The remaining behemoths weren't out of the woods yet either. Although loaded onto their rail cars, German aerial attacks had paralyzed the French rail system, stranding the convoy of tanks out in the open. Despite their best efforts and unable to disembark, the tank battalion was forced to destroy the behemoths to prevent their capture on June 15th. The Char 2C No. 99 Champagne was actually captured intact since its demolition charges failed to explode. Yet this isn't where the story of the Char 2C ends. Several of the tanks were hauled back to Germany where they were scrapped. Some reports indicate turrets from the behemoths were actually used as part of defenses for Hitler's Atlantic Wall. Even more bizarre, Champagne was displayed as a war trophy in Berlin until the end of World War II. Sometime after 1948, the tank allegedly disappeared in East Berlin, never to be seen again. The exact fate of Picardy and the other Char 2C behemoths remains unknown, even to this day. Not a single example is known to exist, so it's exciting to see the Char 2C rolling through the French countryside in Battlefield 1's They Shall Not Pass DLC. But what are your thoughts on the inclusion of the Char 2C in Battlefield 1's French DLC? Are you excited to control Picardy? Tell me in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, share on websites like Facebook and Twitter, and be sure to check out our Discord. I'll leave a link to that in the video description. As always, thanks for watching.